I am at Jay Cook State Park and this is my first time being here on my own. I didn't know where to go and I drove past the swinging bridge that I want to show you first because that's like a big highlight of this park. So I stopped to try and turn around and this <laughs> is where I am. It is incredibly gorgeous. There's a bridge right here and beneath the bridge is an incredible view of the St. Louis River and beyond. I'm gonna follow this trail and go down by the river. It's so pretty right now. And all of the rocks. I'm curious what this looks like in the spring if there's a lot more water and you can't see any of these rocks, but right now this river looks treacherous. This is gorgeous, but I'm gonna take you to the swinging bridge next up by the main area of the park, like the headquarters of the park. I don't know what it's called. The main office. It looks like that's right where the swinging bridge is, which is a really cool feature of this park. I can make my way through this. This rock, it looks like volcanic rock, but I don't know. So the sign here says that the swinging bridge is in this area and there's a sign on the corner over here too that kind of explains where things are, like campground that way, swinging bridge this way, a lookout point and a trail down that way. This park is a little bit less intuitive directional wise than most state parks. Most Minnesota state parks you show up and it's like you're in the park. Whereas this one, there are a lot more roads that you can go down. It's just a really big park. The swinging bridge here does swing. If you get motion sick easily, then you might be affected like I was. It's also a lot more narrow than I would have expected. With it probably only being three or four feet wide, it got congested and it's late in the year. So I can't imagine what it's like midsummer to try and cross it. The rocks here are so cool. I think that's my favorite part so far of this park is the rocks. I drove just down the road a little ways to get to Oldenburg Point Scenic Lookout and Picnic Area. And as you can tell, the picnic area is right here. There are a few different picnic tables. There are some structures and I'm gonna go find the point. This park is so big. You could spend a week here and not see everything or hike every trail. There are tons of trails and tons of things to see. So when I started on the trail, I turned down picnic trail instead of going on to the Ogenst trail. <laughs> and I think this is where the lookout's gonna be on the picnic trail. J. Cook State Park is very near Duluth. So it's one thing to hike in a location with tricky footing, 
it's a whole new level to hike on a place with tricky footing and this is what you get to fall on if you slip just sharp jagged corners everywhere kind of terrifying especially by myself my tips for visiting j cook state park are you need good shoes the lo the rocks are really sharp the footing hasn't been great where i've been and you want your feet to be protected to download the avenza map before you get here there's not good cell phone service but get the map downloaded to your phone ahead of time specifically the avenza map because the avenza map works um by tracking where you are so you can go on the map and see your little dot i would recommend that you come during the week because it's october late fall not even peak season and it's saturday and this place is packed Park is gorgeous. I recommend being careful by the river though because any river is dangerous but this river is known for being unpredictable. The wedding party has departed so now I can show you. So we just went and looked at the overlook here. And now I'm going to do the Ogantz Trail and check out what that's like. As you can see, there are tons of trails. This is where that bridge was, the swinging bridge. And you can do this trail is really popular here. There are so many trails at this park. So I've never done this trail, of course. But it looks like it's going to be wooded. Doesn't look like it really goes along the river. On the days like today when it's super busy, I like to find the trails that aren't going to be quite as busy. So I was just curious about where I am because I do have stuff to do later today. So this is what it looks like. You can see this blue dot is where I am. And as I walk, you can just see the dot moving. And I realized this right here that's Oldenburg Point. So I actually haven't been to Oldenburg Point yet. That lookout that we were at up there where the wedding party was, was a different lookout. So now I'm excited because we still get to see Oldenburg Point right up ahead. Well, that's kind of cool. Glad I decided to download. So it's the Aventa app and you can have like one or two of the maps downloaded for free at a time. So you can just download it when you need it and then delete it when you're done with it and then download different ones so you don't have to pay to use them. I should have downloaded it for Banning State Park because then I would have known when I was not on the trail, but I didn't. So for some reason it looks like they have the trail blocked off here so you can't do the whole loop but you can still check out the Oldenburg Overlook. There was a little bench up there where you could sit and just take in the view. But there are people sitting there, so I don't want to record them. Kind of a cool spot though. It'd be a nice place to come and sit on a romantic hiking date. That's for sure. Oh, look at this bench. The other bench was different. The other bench was more like benchy. This is more like rustic. Right 
right here on the side of the road, there's like a little spot to park for just a couple of vehicles. And there's a sign here that says Thompson Trail. But the reason why I stopped is because of the Thompson Pioneer Cemetery. And I want to check it out. So the cemetery is super duper duper old. 45 years old. Died in 1892.